So we're starting to get into it a little bit. Still got a crack right here where the tree came down. I'm not sure how that's going to affect the drying process. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but got a little bit of an S pattern right here. I don't know if you call it a cathedral or, a, or if you call it like a chevron. But got that. Right over in here, we're starting to get a little bit of a like a compression figure type of thing from where it looked like this wanted to be a branch, probably was for a short time, and broke off and grew over. Some darker heartwood, I kind of like that. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna sharpen the saw a little bit. It's cutting a little slow. So the question was asked, if I don't fall down here, the question was asked, uh, do these screws leave holes in the lumber? I've been doing this for a, just a little bit, not, not too long of a time, enough to dry two loads in the dryer. And what I've discovered is, as the wood dries and shrinks down, I don't have any issue with screw holes. Let's see what we can do here. I think I'm going to put some water on this one. See what, see what that does for us. Pretty nice straight grain. I mean, nothing, nothing too spectacular about it, but a good straight grain. water does for it. Not really too much difference. I flipped over this slab. Uh, so I flipped over this slab. I did pour some water on it already. Um, it's just it's it's straight grain. There's there's nothing real special about it. But um, I mean, not every piece can be the highly figured uh, slab. Actually, just got some rain. I'm gonna have to put stuff away pretty quickly here. Uh, if, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would appreciate it if you do. We picked up a few new subscribers this week. I appreciate everybody that has subscribed. Um, throw me a thumbs up and a, and a comment. And uh, we'll try to get some more of this, this maple and cherry milled up. Somebody just gave me some spruce. 
I've never milled spruce before. We're going to give that a shot. I don't know what, uh, what it's going to be like. But uh, until we see each other again, everybody stay blessed.